Hey friends, welcome into Old Mountain Bricks. Today we've got something special for you. We're gonna be taking a look at a retired Lego set, the Lego Creator 3-in-1 Vacations Getaway. Set number 31052, The Vacation Getaways, is a Lego Creator 3-in-1 set. It was released in 2016 and retired in 2018, and is now a retired Lego set. Originally retailing for about 69 US dollars, and today in box goes somewhere between $90 and $115. I got mine used, not in box, uh, off of eBay, more about that in a bit, for 50 US dollars. So what we're going to do now is we're going to do a speed build of it. We're going to give you some of my thoughts of the building process, go over some of the details of the set once it's finished up, and then find a place for it in our Lego city. But of course, if you enjoyed this video today, make sure you do like, subscribe, and comment as it really helps us out and helps us reach our goals. But let's go ahead and jump into it. All right, here we go. I'm trying some new time-lapse settings, so let me know if it's better or worse than some other ones I've done before. But we get started with some of the Technic parts for the frame. It actually started out a little smaller than I thought, but actually then kind of expanded. I thought it was interesting with some of the green plate involved. I would have wanted some more details, I think, on the interior with maybe some tiling and such. But again, this was released in 2016, so it has been quite a while, I guess, since they designed this set, probably, you know, a year or two before that. But just kind of a basic RV build. Of course, I did buy this off eBay, so I was missing some key pieces, mostly some of the detail pieces, like some lantern pieces, some printed pieces, and that's just kind of the risk you take when you buy something off eBay. I don't have the best track record of that, of course, so I'm going to leave this person a review as well that some pieces were missing, but it is what it is. I'm glad I still have it in the city, but I like some of the details. Um, a lot of white brick, of course, kind of to get that classic RV shape and then you kind of put that red tile on there that really gives it the good accent. The best building technique was actually the front which I'll show you in just a bit with how the windows were built. The roof was interesting because it was done in two sections and not one like I was expecting. The most interesting part of this of course is the retractable awning with that cloth piece. Then you just finish up the build with some of the table and chairs and the trailer and boat and the bear and a couple little trees and such which was fun little additions but I was mainly here for the RV but let's take a closer look all together now. And here it is, the Vacations Getaway RV. Let's take a closer look at some of the details now. This set does come with two minifigures that are exclusive to this set. This little boy here with kind of the jacket and the short legs. And then I would believe like a mother of some sorts, kind of wearing like a green jacket as well. Each with a little camera and a chicken wing, and a little boy with the baseball cap. Out front here, you can kind of see some of the other details. As I was saying, I did get this off eBay, or so I did have issues with not every part being included in the set, such as like these trees. It should have been two small little trees, but that's okay. One of the other things that came with this set is this buildable character of a bear, which again, I did not know was included in this set, but it was kind of fun to put together. One of the main play features of the camper van, or RV, is this little retractable awning. But really what you do is you just spin this little Technic gear. It's come a long way since these first came out, but you just kind of pop it down like that. And all the pictures, it has these ball joints kind of pointed down, so you kind of get that more interesting angle like that. And then your minifigures, of course, can hang out underneath in the shade or away from the rain a little bit as they're doing their fun outdoor camping. One of the other builds is this little dinghy boat of what is what I would call it. Comes with a little life preserver, not a particularly challenging build, but it's fun to see that kind of comes with the trailer and can kind of swivel around as you kind of drive this around. It does just pop off after being connected with these just two white slope pieces right there. And it can just go right back on there so they're ready for a good time at the lake or something. On top of the camper, it does come with a, a table and chairs and a grill. Over here you can see a good example of the table and chairs set up, that way I don't have to bring that off there. As well as the grill up on top where you can pop this out and grill up some tasty chicken. So to retract the awning all you do is again just kind of spin that Technic gear on the side. It is supposed to go in that direction which kind of is a little awkward but it's supposed to kind of sit just like that. And once you do that you can see the main door in there just kind of pops open. I really like this kind of piece here it does have if you can see it has those kind of bars in the middle to kind of give it a better texture 
On the back of the RV, it does come with a ladder and a little skateboard for the little boy. I did have to supplement some pieces on this part here. But one thing I also wanted to point out, I am missing a piece that goes right here, what I call the toolbox piece that's supposed to hold these chairs down. That looks something like that. So in order to gain access to the interior of the RV, what you need to do is take off two sections of the roof. But let's go ahead and pop this off. So first one comes off just like that and the second. They are just kind of jumpered in place up top here. So how this works is you can just kind of turn it just like this. And there is a Technic piece in the middle here kind of holding this back part together so you can gain access to the back of the camper. So right in here you've got a little lantern, a little seating area and a table as well as a sandwich inside this little cupboard, I guess you'd say, maybe a fridge. Right here you do have a swivel flat screen TV and then a few other small details if we can get in here like the sink, a oven, and just an area to kind of store their luggage and some other parts for a sandwich. Again, we were missing a couple other things in there, but you can also see two cups hanging up top there and then it, it does have the ability to pop out on the side. If you're familiar with how RVs work, they're able to do something like that. So you can see there's a little bar right down there. So what you do is you just pull it just like that. So what it, what it can do is it does stop automatically because it's got those little angled slope pieces in order to kind of keep that down. So you're able to just pop that out and then have the bed out like that. So that gives you a bit more room inside the camper to get up to the front seat where you've got, I believe is a toilet with no door or anything. I was missing a snot piece on that in order to kind of do the back of the toilet that I was not able to supplement. And then we're also missing a map printed piece that we were not able to get as well. As far as the front, it's kind of interesting. It's built upside down using these kind of sloped glass pieces. There's no good way to really get access to it without just kind of popping this whole thing off just like that, you can see it was really built like this. And then when you put it on there, it's actually just hooked upside down and kind of hooks right into this little clip right in there. But you can place two mini figures up front and drive the camper van around, not too crazy, but it was fun to see how that all came together. So when it's all said and done, this thing can get pretty big if you open all the little hatches, all the little pieces here and set up the table and chairs and all the mini figures and it can be quite a fun set. Again, I was excited to get this set because I want to have like a nature or camping area and I think it'd be fun to have this set up somewhere in our Lego city. So let's put this thing back together for just a moment. Okay, let's see if we can find a place for this thing. If you didn't check out our last video where we placed the Avengers Tower, check that out. But I think where we're going is somewhere over in this area. As you can see, we've started a small collection of what I'm calling kind of my nature area. Right now we've got this little camper van right now, which I think looks really nice. This might eventually turn into my official sick fig at some point, but for now I like this little set. And I think the RV that we just put together is gonna have a nice home somewhere over here. We also have the Winter Village Trolley, even though it kind of fits into the scheme there. So I think it's going to be camouflaging itself over here for now. But of course it should be going on the train tracks, but I don't have that powered up yet. So maybe one day we'll have this guy ripping around. And of course we've got one of my favorite sets, the A-frame cabin and then the Sanderson sisters cottage. We're gonna see how we can arrange this, maybe make it just a little better and find a place to at least set up the camper van as well, not just have it kind of sit there. So I think one of the first things we're going to do, we got these Lego base plates for Christmas here. So we're going to swap a few things out, at least make it a bit greener, make things match a little bit better and see if that helps a little bit. Okay, I think we've got something figured out back here now. So when you're looking at it kind of from the main point of view, it doesn't look too different. But as you kind of take a closer look, you can see we've kind of filled in all this space here with some of those base plates that we just opened up. So trying to make it a bit more consistent as well as slight adjustments over here to make everything kind of fit all snug in here together. And you can see we do have 
the new Vacation Getaways camper right up in here. Does it make sense for it to be next to the train tracks? No, but it's close to the beach. So for now it's gonna work out and everybody just watch out for the trains at night. So let's get a little closer in here. And here you can see some of the details as far as we've got the little awning down, we've set up their table and chairs. Mom's still inside getting some stuff ready, but the kid's got his little chicken wing right there, but better be careful because the bear is just around the corner. Kind of hiding by the little tree and by our unofficial RV trolley right there. I also just decided to put these folks out here. They're just still setting up and nothing too crazy, but I just made a little fire in the center for everyone to be able to enjoy. You gotta do the best you can with the parts you got and that's all I've kind of got right now. But of course these other plates and pieces are in here in order to hold all the base plates together. Eventually we will mills plate all of this, but for now it just helps tie the city together a little bit. Can't wait to see how I can add some more trees and details and have some folks singing some campfire songs before too long here. But I think this was a decent find on eBay, even though it was missing a few parts. So if you do find this set out in the wild, I would recommend picking it up. But I think that's gonna do it for today. I really do appreciate you come by Old Mountain Bricks. Make sure you leave a like or comment if you enjoyed something in the video. But until next time, have a good one. Mm -hmm.